everybody knows about this situation with Boris Cujo and Nicole Airy Parker. And there's been a lot of Instagram lives going on with celebrities, couples, people having dinners and stuff. Like on Instagram, like they're actually doing it in real life. It's This quarantine situation is very interesting. But we all know about the disrespect that happened with Nicole Airy Parker and Boris Cujo. She pretty much spelled out exactly what she was unhappy with in the relationship. Talked about how she missed being single. How she has flirtatious text messages coming in. All in front of this man, okay? And she only... Not only does she disrespect her in front of the other married couple that's there, but in front of anybody in the live, she makes him look like a little girl. And Boris Kuja, who is like half Austrian, Austrian, German, Germany are like almost the same country. Dad's Ghanaian. His mom is white. If you looked at him, he just listened to her as she's running her mouth. He don't pay attention to me no more. And I wish I was still single. I missed this and I missed that. The brother's just sitting there eating whatever he's doing. He's sitting there listening to her run her mouth. Run her, run her mouth. As most brothers that live with women, um, you know, we sit there and let y'all run y'all mouth. I mean, this is the truth. I, you know, men, we get tired of hearing y'all. So we just let you talk. You know, we know you don't know what you're talking about, but we let you talk. Okay. But I look at his face, and as she's talking, he's not mad, he's not upset, and she's trying to basically get his attention, get mad. You know, women will do that. We, we In the manosphere, white and black, we call that shit test. She's trying to make him have a reaction to what she's saying. She's trying to get him to change. She's trying to get him to understand. And some of these people on my other video I did about this, they were talking about, well, shit, you don't know. She's just talking about how he feels. You're missing what she's talking about. You're, you're only, you're, you don't know what you're talking about. You're just roasting what she's saying. You're not listening to her. And, oh, I'm listening to her. I hear her very clear. I hear what she's saying. But, see, even if she's right, and she probably is right, it's not for her to say that in front of everybody else. It's not. See, this is a cultural thing, and I got I to gotta get on the black community, and I got to deal with sisters. You are not going to see women of other nationalities do this. I'm sorry, you're not. Um, and I'm going to break this home to y'all right now. Women of other nationalities are not going to engage in this behavior. This kind of, I need to embarrass you in front of everybody it happens with black women. Okay, I just got to be honest. This is what I see. I, we are brothers who are from the black community. We've seen this play ran too many times. We've seen the play. We've seen it out of the play action, out of the eye form, out of the eye strong, out of single back. We know this play. This is not new to us because this is what sisters do. Not all of them, but they do this. And if you pay attention to Boris Cujo, the look on his face tells me one thing. I wish I would have married a white woman. I wish I would have married a white woman. I fell for the pro-black, stick with the black community hustle. And I should have married somebody not black. And I'm looking at his face and it's telling me that and I, I, I know you're probably, how can you decipher that? I, I'm going to tell you how I know. He's probably saying, after this, I will never deal with another black woman again. I'm going to go get me somebody the same race as my mom. And the reason why I'm saying this is, Boris Cujo is half black, half African, half white. He could have married anybody. And usually brothers that are European and African, 
Sometimes they come into the black African American community and try to do things, but that's what he was trying to do. Boris Kujo, although he's liberal, he does have pro-black leanings. He has to. He married an African American. His mom is not that. So it's very difficult for a black man who has a white mother to marry a black woman. That's something unheard of. Most black guys who have an African father or African American father don't date black women. I mean, we could talk about Clay Thompson. We could talk about um what's the other brother? Patrick Mahomes. Look look at look at Drake. Drake's dad's African American, right? They they typically don't marry or, or, or procreate with black women because they they tend to like women that are more like their mother and they know that although they are part black they can get away with marrying white now somebody like me african-american family came from the louisiana area on both sides came from came out of the slave trade okay i'm the first generation african-american on the west coast can't go and marry a white girl and it's it's easy it's not it's much harder for me because my mama's black my daddy's black i came up in the black baptist church hallelujah thank you jesus amen hoshana bosha one church of god in christ for a minute aoh i came up in the ghetto in, in, in the black community i have a i'm strong ties to the african american community so for me to do that it's hard it's hard for me to see it because my mind has been shaped in people going to ridicule me a lot. But key people are not going to ridicule you if you your dad is African and you white. Your mom's white. You don't really have no ties to the black community. But see, here is Boris Cujo trying to be down for the cause. Let me get a black woman. Because he probably wants to be in a lot of the black films, the black community showing them love. And, you know, the brother's trying to really build in the black community. Liberal, whatever. This is what he's trying to do. But now he's seeing that, you know what? Nicole Airy Parker isn't who shot a marry. In my culture, how I grew up speaking all these different languages, even though Nicole Airy Parker is from a very affluent African-American family in Baltimore, I think with her, one of her parents is a doctor or a dentist. So she wasn't, you know, no pushover. But Boris Cujo knows I made a mistake. I can look at it in his face. I'm not the kind of man that can handle or deal with an African-American woman. Like somebody like me, if I'm dealing with Nicole Airy Parker, I'm tell her to just, I don't want to hear that. Get out of my face. But we know how to deal with people in our community. When you're somebody like Boris Kujo and you come into the black community, you don't really know how to deal with our community like that. Only African Americans know how to deal with each other. If you get a, a even girl, he's fine. Girl, he you can get you a half French, half black dude. Let an African American woman get 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 to him. She gonna run over him. She gonna run over him because he's not a, he's not ready for somebody like her. Okay, Boris Cujo, his attitude and his energy levels are more fit for a white woman. I'm going to say it. He is better with a European, a white girl. And he knows that. Because he knows that if he was dealing with a woman like that, he most likely, I, I could probably deal with something else. I ain't got to deal with something like this. I can tell you, women of other races, they have their problems. Even in the black community in the 60s and the 50s, black women in that generation would never be do something like what Ari Parker did. They know that I'm going to get you behind the scenes, Negro. You're not doing this or that. I'm going to get you behind the scenes, but I'm not going to embarrass you in public. And white women of today, I live, in, I live in Europe for the most part. I've never seen this. Polish women, German women, women in Austria, that's not in their culture. to do. Asian women, they don't do that. Only group people that do their sisters. And the brother is sitting there like, man, 
soon as I get out of this thing. And don't be surprised. What's the boy that used to be Jesse Williams? Who he gonna mess with now? Because he knows that culture. So guys, what do you think about this? Am I right or am I wrong? Am I reaching? Let me know in the comment section. If you are a brother, right? Subscribe to this channel. Any black man that's not unsubscribed, subscribe right now. Hit the bell. This channel's for you. I, I talk about things from the black male perspective. Some things unpopular or popular, but we need you to be subscribed to this channel. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell. And comment below. New subscriber. I want to know who you are. Um, also, all my contact information is at the first comment pinned to the top. For those of you that want to support me on the Patreon and my website, negromanosphere.com, the number one blog for black male issues in the nation. Go ahead and subscribe to us and check out our website and our blog there. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.